Hey there, it's Wendy Hernandez with Command the Courtroom and welcome to day two of my seven day video burst. And what I'm going to do is for the six, next seven days straight release videos um, addressing a whole bunch of different topics. And, and I decided to, to do a bunch of videos at once because I've been getting a ton of questions and comments on YouTube. The other day I went through my YouTube comment feed and there were a thousand, over a thousand comments. So I'm going to try to ad address some of the questions. I know it's just a handful, but every little bit helps. Um, so in today's video, I'm going to talk with you about what you should do if you find out an important piece of information after you've already entered into an agreement in your case and the agreement has become an order of the court. And actually I have a very uh, a case with this very situation right now. In fact, I'm going to court on this case this afternoon to argue the point with the judge. So watch out for details on the outcome of our oral argument. But if you enter into an agreement with the other parent about something major in your case, even about something not necessarily that big, but you didn't have access to all of the facts or the other party hadn't made full disclosure to you, then you didn't necessarily enter into that agreement knowingly and voluntarily. Because if one of the facts that was withheld from you was a material fact or a material misrepresentation, it may have changed your decision making in the process about entering into the agreement. And if it, if it affects you to your detriment or to your disadvantage, it is possible that you could get out of that agreement. So what you're going to need to do is research in your jurisdiction the rules and the laws and the, the procedures on setting aside a court order. So in the particular case that I have right now, that's exactly what we've done. Um, the case didn't involve an issue, did not involve an issue of child custody. It involved a term, a major term of a divorce. Um, we didn't know a key piece of information before my client entered into the contract or the agreement regarding the divorce. And so now we're asking the court to set it aside because he didn't have full knowledge. As a result, it's our position that there wasn't even a, a contract because not all facts were disclosed. So you're not totally sunk if you enter into an agreement and you later found out there was more information that you needed to know. Check out the rules in your court um, to figure out what the next step would be and what would be involved in setting that agreement aside. So remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel by hitting the little bell. If you're watching this on YouTube, give it a thumbs up, whether you're on YouTube or Facebook, head over to command the courtroom. I have a, a custody challenge, child custody challenge. It's free. That's coming up pretty soon. It's going to be 21 days. Um, and I'll be posting information on that soon. Continue to follow the videos and I'll have several more videos for you in the coming week until next week. Remember to keep on trucking and command the courtroom.